Eva was answering the phone in her room. Suddenly a big dog appeared behind the curtain. It came straight to Eva. Its body was also crawling with countless small bugs. Looking at the dog's eyes, Eva was inexplicably a little disgusted. But the big dog started to shake. The caterpillars all over its body have fallen off and some even stuck to Ava's body. Since she was bitten by bugs, she has been suffering from a rare and mysterious disease. Even after seeing a doctor, they couldn't give to good a treatment until a Filipino caregiver named Diana came to her home. She treated Eva with her hometown remedy and got unexpected results. Ava's condition improved, but Diana's behavior was strange. She used a matchbox to collect the bugs on the floor. Before she went to bed, she put grass and wood ashes on the door. What's even weirder is that in the morning, there are the footprints on the ashes. Ava's condition was getting better and better. She was curious and asked Diana about the origin of the remedy. It was when Diana was very young, one night it was storming, an old woman, whose life was in danger, came to her house to escape the rain. Unfortunately, she passed away, but her spirit turned into a bird and entered Diana's body. After that Diana was a bit different from before. She felt more aware of the world. It was as if she could channel all the forces of nature because her family was very poor, so her parents used this power to help people heal and make money for the family. Not only Eva, but no one could believe what she said, but Ava's condition has improved, so she also approved of this approach. She let Diana continue to treat her, but Diana didn't want to be paid. She just asked Eva to do one thing for her. She covered Ava's back with black sludge and then pierced her toes with a steel needle. She collected the blood from it and then collected her cut toenails and the hair she had deliberately lost while combing her hair. Then in the middle of the night Diana mumbles a spell under her breath. She burns Ava's hair. While Eva was in the room, she heard her daughter Anna's cries. She looked under the table and saw that it was on fire. There was a huge amount of smoke. Eva tried to escape from the room, but could not open the door. Suddenly the door was opened by her husband, Tom and everything inside was back to normal. It seems to be her hallucination. Tom still doesn't believe in prescriptions. He thought his wife was not sick at all, but just imagined by stress. He talked to Diana and told her to stay away from his wife, but Diana doesn't give a damn. Instead, she told Tom to mind his own business. She kicked him out of the room for being too late. Anna's little bird suddenly flies out. It dangled in front of Tom's face. Although Tom slaps the bird to death, but he didn't see a tick crawl out of the bird's body. Anna hated her father for the bird's death, and her mother had no time for her. So her relationship with Diana grew closer and closer. Originally Tom wanted to get rid of Diana, but when he saw how much Anna depended on her, he had to put up with it. Under Diana's careful treatment, Eva really seemed to have recovered completely. She put on her favorite red high heels and went back to the office to continue her unfinished work. But Tom found a strange odor in Diana's room. It contained a picture of Diana and a girl, and the bottles of blood she collected from her wife, and the drugs she took. The couple used this to drive Diana away. They both believe that Diana is using witchcraft to control Eva. And before Diana left, she put a tick in the room and told Anna if she wanted to be with her forever, then she has to do something to help her. Eva wakes up and suddenly sees what looks like something crawling towards her. Oh my god, it's a giant tick. The sharp fangs would be terrifying to suck on. As she watched the tea crawl towards her, Tom woke her up. It was a nightmare. Eva turns on the lamp. It was a series of dreams. She finally woke up. Eva sees the giant tick again and the big dog she can't forget. Eva wakes up and starts taking her medication again. The wound on her neck from the tick still hasn't healed. When she talked to Anna, Anna's words startled her. Anna said why did her father say that and Diana had hidden the pills. She had seen the pills in her father's car. Now Eva was a little angry, no matter how Tom explained it. She thought he was too controlling. He didn't believe she was sick. There was also a gap between them. Tom offered to split the room so Eva could calm down. But as soon as he reached the stairs, he heard the words Diana had said. Be careful of the stairs. A little bird suddenly flew over. Tom fell downstairs in a panic. Tom was taken away from the hospital with a back injury. Anna was not a bit sad. The killer of the bird was punished. This is probably what she wanted all along. Eva took Anna to the office to check on the brave. She suddenly noticed that the children's faces had strange red spots. It was as if Diana was practicing witchcraft. Ava's mind kept flashing with horrible images. She collapsed helplessly on the floor. Everyone was baffled by Ava's frenzied state. Anna also had a disgusted look on her face. Eva went home to rest, but Diana came back again. Eva also seemed to see a savior. This time, Eva did not resist anymore. She let Diana treat her carefully. Diana also increased the dosage of medicine as Diana chanted the words from her mouth. Eva seemed to remember something. 
In a simple garment factory, each woman had to make 25 t-shirts an hour. But Eva, who came to inspect the factory, was not satisfied. They had to make 30 pieces to increase profits. She also told the management to lock all the doors. Otherwise, it would be a huge loss if any woman stole something. When she went out, she saw a little girl hiding inside. She even took a picture with the little girl and told her mother to work hard. At the moment, she doesn't even know that the little girl's mother is Diana. She didn't have time to take care of her daughter. She had to take her to the factory. Because it was very hot in the factory, Diana wanted to buy a cold drink for her daughter. She came out of the factory and saw a big dog covered with ticks. Just as Diana was buying a cold drink, the factory accidentally caught fire. Because the factory doors were locked, everyone died in the fire, including her daughter. At that moment, Diana's heart was ashes. In addition to tears of sadness, her eyes were filled with the rage of revenge. Now her wish had finally come true. She wanted Eva to taste the loss of her daughter forever. You said you'd be with me forever. I'll keep my promise. Go to the garden. Diana walks to the top of the building. And Anna was downstairs watching her. Diana jumped up high. She fell hard to the ground. But out of her mouth comes a little bird. She was like a legacy and went into Anna's mouth. Tom, who had just been discharged from the hospital, arrived home. But she saw Eva had already become a charred skeleton. This is the end of the film, so there's no such thing as hate for no reason. Although Eva was killed by bloodsuckers, but she was not a vampire who squeezed the workers' blood and sweat. She doesn't care about the safety and health of the workers. All she cares about is how to squeeze the last drop of blood out of them.